Well, here we go. Congratulations, Rick. In the words of Negan, this is, ladies and gentlemen, the Season 9 trailer reaction for The Walking Dead. Very excited, also very nervous, because I haven't watched anything from the panel. I'm going to watch the panel. That it, they don't have it live. For some reason, the panel is not live. Whatever. That's a rant for after this video. But you guys all want to see the reaction, so let's do it. Um... Five minutes of awesomeness. Oh! It's been a while since we had one of these talks. Oh, it's Rick and Negan. It wasn't that long ago. We were fighting just to stay oh, alive. Oh, baby! But he's not like that. Oh, there's his daughter. Oh shit. Ew. Oh god, nice mace. We're all gonna pitch in and make sure the sanctuary has what it needs. So you all can get back on your feet. Bless you with grass. Oh wow, that's interesting. Oh, Washington DC? Oh, that's weird. Huh. When do I get to see it? Don't you ever get tired of acting like you're still in the Huh. Do you? I wonder if I'm the saviors. You told me that soon you'd be the one following me. That's funny. Because I wasn't so much follow. Oh, God. The changes now. Yes, we're both off the show. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, there's a sign. Saw the image last night. Ooh, Jerry getting some action. I like it. Oh god, alright. Oh my god, I got a pot to the face. Huh! No! Rick, don't die! There's Henry. Uh, Henry just hit someone. We don't know if they're ever gonna forgive each other, Rick. If they can even move on. Savior, save us. I just want to pull that trigger. End it before it begins. Rick, do not... If you die... <laughs> Bridge. I thought I saw Heath. Eugene with his hat. Sword sung up. He's in a field by himself. Oh god. Oh my god. What's wrong with Rick in this scene? Helicopter. Wait, there's an A on the helicopter. Of course there's an A on the fucking helicopter. What's that, Dan? All of us, together. Keep doing that, they'll see we're all on the same side. No! Oh my god. Fighting. Junkyard. Final warning. Why are they getting into trouble? Why is Rick almost that? Ah, everyone's fight. What the? There's like a civil war going on. We're on the same side, Rick. Will you tell me? Oh God. Did she find Lucille? I'm gonna have to watch this back in slow motion, guys. Who were you before? Before all this? Who the hell's that?
She said she was a journalist. But she's just being modest. Gabriel? And who are you now? Is this a new is this the new group that comes in? Like there's Magna and the new survivors, yep. October 7th, that's an earlier date. Very interesting. Please, oh my god, there's something with Rick. This is out of the comics. The Whisperers, maybe. That's it. There's no way to tell. Um, okay, so that last scene was straight out of the comics. There's, I forget the name. I think it's Magna. Yeah, Magna and her group. Um, and I don't, I don't, I might tie into the Whispers, and I'm not sure if any of the Whisper, the people in that horde were from the Whispers. So we're gonna do this at point twenty five speed. I'll turn off the volume to spare you the really agonizing slow motion crap. Um, so we're going to go through this step by step, um, give it scene by scene. Um, pretty, pr it's substantial trailer, five minutes, 5.30, so five and, five and change trailer. Um, so we have Rick sitting down, he's pretty smug smile on his face. Um, and he's obviously talking to Negan, bragging kind of. We got a sunset, let's see here, we got a sunset. That's Hilltop. Looks like they built... I don't know if they built on Hilltop at all. Um, we got the first image of Maggie's baby. So, I, so this is Maggie with a new hairdo, and it looks like the Hilltop is really booming. Um, we know this is a two-year time jump, so there's baby... I will say spoilers in the comics that that is his name. Um, again, spoilers. His name in the comics is Baby Herschel. Um pretty cool Let's see if we get a side glimpse yeah it's a little baby boy yeah look at there he is everyone was complaining for a bazillion years that maggie wasn't having her baby so she finally had the baby um so that was like a meme for the longest time everyone was like what is she gonna have her kid it's like well she just had her kid so congratulations congratulations there's judith wow that's is that the same actress that played judith in that flash forward sequence it actually looks like the same actress that played her before but just aged up so she's running around she's walking she's having fun minus carl um all right so then this is either rick and michonne i can't tell it looks like it's rick and michonne looking at blueprints for rebuilding alexandria rick and michonne riding horses this is outside Hilltop. There's extra farmland. There's Daryl on his motorcycle. Um, <clears throat> a new look for the sanctuary. It looks like they couldn't repair all of the windows that they shot out in that sequence. So some of the windows are still shot out. Some are fixed on the top floor, which I'm surprised they didn't try to fix all of them here. Because, I mean, you got that wind, these, this, you got the staircase balcony. You can fix some of them. Uh, you got crows. Very interesting. So it looks like they've got some livestock... Um, but there is definitely a semblance of death here. I mean, look, at you got the crows, you got the, um... <coughs> you don't have lively vegetation. Look at this, I mean... <coughs> um, Mrs. Michonne picking a tomato with Judith. <sighs> oh, this is interesting. <laughs> this guy literally looks like the Grinch right now. You're a mean one. Mr. Gr All right, so look, Capitol Building. Anyone see that? Yep, Capitol Building. So we can confirm that they are going into downtown Washington, D.C. to scavenge. Um, I know I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but in that sequence that we saw, they're actually trying to get a horse-drawn carriage, which might be from a historical center. That's very odd. So the, <laughs> one of their missions is to go through the historical center and do that. That's pretty funny. So here we go. Rick Grimes got a new weapon, a mace. He takes the mace and he splatters the brains. Look at that. Absolutely annihilates that zombie. And Michonne does the same. Slices half its head off. Very nice. Slow motion sequence. Uh, then we got some... This is for building, I guess. So, T. 
timber, you get some lumber, wood. Um, there's Aaron with a big old beard. Um, I don't really know. Oh, there's Daryl, of course. I'm trying to see if I recognize anybody else. This is an interesting scene. So we, this is Rick at the Sanctuary, which we've never seen before. Rick's never been at the Sanctuary before. But now this is Rick at the Sanctuary talking to the Saviors, saying, we will help you in any way we can. We're going to try to get you. This woman seems to be happy with the decision. This guy is like, eh, okay. Um, I don't know what who this guy is. Um... Because we're looking for, like, who's the leader of the Saviors now? Because the only woman that really survived was Laura. All of the other lieutenants were killed off. Gavin, uh, I'm pretty sure Regina was killed in that final sequence. Didn't Rosita shoot her before Regina, Regina could get to Eugene? Um, yeah, obviously Gavin, Simon, they're all dead. Um, and then Negan's in prison. So Laura was the old, really the only person who stood down in that season 8 finale. Who And we saw, we see her in this trailer, I'll get to it. Um, but I don't know who this guy is. The guy Gary was actually killed when, because he joined Simon's coup to kill Negan, and he was actually killed when Negan killed those initial guys. So Gary is confirmed dead. So whoever this new guy is, it's not Gary. Um, these guys seem to be more or less okay, but these are just like the workers, the straight up workers. Um, so here's the, here's an internal uh, meeting to go to, or, or an internal scavenger hunt. Looks like we've got Ezekiel, we've got Carol, we got um, Sydney from Oceanside. That's pretty disturbing. Look, they're walking on glass right now. Walking on broken glass. Yeah, that's pretty disturbing. Okay, so here's the mission, all right? So we got Father Gabriel, we got Jadis slash Anne, we've got... What the hell is her name? I don't remember her name. What the hell was her name? The one that's played... It was Carl's girlfriend. What the hell was her name? I am I am drawing a huge blank right now. I know that's Sadiq. Um, Enid. Sorry. Oh my god. Sorry. I guess her... <laughs> haven't had much to do with her character in a while. Um, so this is a pretty interesting mission. Rick's a part of it. They're trying to get this giant horse-drawn boogie from this... Seems like a historical center. So, like, I mean, you know, you see the architecture around and crap. So I, I have to assume that's the case. I don't know if it's going to fall through the glass panel. It seems like that was what they were insinuating from this scene. Um, here's Rick Grimes walking. Um, pretty interesting. We haven't had this dynamic. Uh, here's Anne slash Jadis with Tara. Um, I don't know what Anne's sexuality is. Obviously, she thought, you know, she thought she wanted to lay with Rick at the end of season seven so of course I mean she's at least partially straight so maybe she's bi I don't know if this is just a friendly talking together but um they're walking towards each other they kind of give a, a the peace and doesn't really even really engage in any eye contact that's kind of weird um all right, this is the black screen, black screen. Oh, this is Negan talking. Oh, and look, <laughs> there's like a sandwich in a freaking plate. I don't know if this is a dog sandwich. Maybe Daryl fucking messed with it. We can't really see Negan that well. He he's just he doesn't have his jacket anymore, but he's got a long beard, as we knew he would. Look both ways, two-way traffic. Um, I don't know what this operation is. Oh, they use this for like a road here. Oh, it's a fence. Okay, it's a fence. I don't know if this is a walker. I think this is a walker. Uh, is it a walker? It's a walker. Where is this outside of? It looks like it's at some sort of camp. I don't know where it's at. The walkers are eating something. Is that Rick Grimes? We don't... Is it... No. I can't tell the belt. No, the belt doesn't look like it. There's Negan kind of... Yeah, let's see. Wait a minute. Commonwealth? Wait, did you guys see this? Wait, for any comic book fans, this is pretty big. Commonwealth? Wait a minute. Whoa. This is a new community in the comics, but there's no way that they're introducing them for... Huh. That might, it might just be an Easter egg. It might just be an Easter egg for a further season. But I see Commonwealth on this little sign right here on the wind, on the, tur on the turbine. That's interesting. 
It's interesting. Okay. Uh, Rick. So Rick is having a discussion um, at the beginning of season eight. Rick said to Maggie, "Once this war's over, I'm going to be following you." Now she's saying to him, "That's kind of bullshit because if that was true, you would have listened to me with my decision, and I really wanted Negan killed because he killed Glenn." So. Uh, not too happy about that. So, um, she says that to him right there. Um, okay. Uh, Walker's trying to get through somewhere. I don't know where they're trying to get to. Uh, what the heck? Is That's Maggie. That's definitely Maggie. She takes it head on. She's got a little handkerchief. Scene cuts away. Then this was from the teaser, so... Daryl and Maggie are definitely in on whatever coup's going on. It seems like, I don't know, they've got some sort of operation together. Um, uh, they're at a camp, it seems. Rick comes out of the camp. He's got his new hairstyle, new jacket, his backpack. Um, this is interesting. Carol and Ezekiel feeling it up a little bit. It looks like we're going to have a relationship from them. Hmm, very interesting. Got, I see Eugene is a Tara. Um, I see Sadiq in the background. Okay. It's interesting. There's Maggie's talking. She's got a nice hairdo. Oh, yeah. Michonne's talking to her about rules. Uh, Rick's walking through HQ. Got Rosita here along with two of the Oceanside people. I bet this was Beatrice and someone else. I forget her name. But they were the two people. Okay. So, okay. Okay. I'm going to be saying okay a lot in this vlog. All right, so we got HQ. I don't know where HQ is. It seems to be just in the woods or whatever. Um, Oceanside, Alexandria, Sanctuary, and what the heck is Toledo? I have no idea what Toledo is. The only thing I can think of is that it's connected to that helicopter. The only thing I can think of. Um, but interestingly enough, Hilltop's not on this. Unless HQ is Hilltop. Possible, because Maggie is kind of leading this whole charge, so... Interesting question as to why Hilltop's not on there, and if it is on there, maybe it's um, something else. Um, Rick's given the, oh, how you doing, and she says the same, and this is Laura. We got Laura right here, so this is what I was saying. Um, of the saviors that we know, there's Laura, and then there's some other girl who I assume. Uh, this is the scene I was talking about, Jerry getting some action. This is that um, larger woman who kind of helps evacuate the kingdom last season. Um, and then, oh, slow motion punch. Oh, I don't know who this guy is. Who is this guy? It's it's a new character. Daryl punches. Carol comes out. Daryl, what are you doing? Um, stop it. Daryl says no, and he takes a pot, and oh, he... Oh, my gosh. Well, that was pretty nasty. All right. Um, another shot of Michonne and Rick riding in on horses. Uh, I don't know where they're going. Maggie overlooking the operations at the hilltop. Some sort of new weapon. Crowbar. Crowbar. Carol in her kingdom armor with a flashlight and a knife in the, in the dark looking for somebody. Um, I don't know who she's looking for, but she's looking for somebody. Daryl Dixon on his motorcycle. And he's got a spear. And he spears it. Throws it right at the zombie. Um, they're using the logs to trip the zombies. I don't really know why you'd waste lumber you need for building shit when you could just, you know, I don't know. But maybe they just want to knock them down so they can kill them. Um, this concerns me. This very <laughs> Any scene with Rick in danger in this trailer is going to concern me. Uh, from what I could see at face value, there was nothing that, like, insinuated something bad was going to happen, so... Uh, Alright, and then yeah, he cuts him down, he's still got his axe, and he's slicing him up. He's cutting him down. So this must be the same operation. This must be the same operation. Um, this is Daryl and Rick, they're talking about rules. Probably they're still, okay, ooh, we got Henry a little older. And um, he's uh, he's tripping someone. Yeah, he's, uh, oh, someone, someone's getting tripped. Might be from the Saviors. Um, Aaron's Aaron's fighting someone. Everyone's fighting each other. That's that's interesting. Aaron's fighting someone. Jesus is fighting someone. Um, or Daryl's fighting someone. Oh my god, everyone's fighting everyone. Michonne's got a new hairstyle. This is pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. Short dreadlocks. But she has her dreadlocks back. It's like in a bun, and she's got the shorter things in front. 
Oh, uh, la, 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 la. All right, okay. So we got Mission, we got Carol, we got Ezekiel, we got Rick. They're all walking through the sanctuary. Uh, looks like they're not too happy with them walking through. Saviors, save us. We are still Negan. Oh, okay. Oh, dear. All right. So it looks like there's some people who are still Team Negan here, and they're not fully on board. We are still Negan. That's he's gonna he. It's like literally like Team Trump. Like when Trump like you know loses the election next term, or like Trump's finally gone, people will say we're still Trump, or you know Trump, Trump like America great, or whatever. I don't know. I'm trying to equate politics to The Walking Dead. It's not working very well. Um, let's see here. We got Carol aiming a gun at. I think these are the saviors. Just be, by how burly they look and stuff, I think that they are. I don't know. She's looking a deadpan face. Just deadpan. She's like, yep, I'm not taking your shit. Uh, she's talking to Rick. Probably about the rules, about stuff. Got Jerry. His, he's got a new axe. Jerry's got a new axe. That's awesome. He's got bubble, bubble wrap there? No, it's not bubble wrap. Um, Rick is looking very sad, and I'm concerned why he's looking sad. Oh, and he's looking at a horde of walkers, and... Oh, dear. Oh, he's looking at a horde of walkers. Who is that? Anne. This is Anne's drawing. That is Gabriel, because he's got that lazy eye, now that he's partially blind. Um, I thought that was Heath at first glance, but it's not. Um... Some guy dragging his shoe with blood dripping. Could be a zombie. Uh, I think this is Daryl sharpening his knife. It is. And then Rick comes in. That's not a good parallel in scenes. Uh, just because... I don't know what it's going to be that takes him out of the picture. Also, Maggie. What takes her out of the picture? Then she attacks something. Probably a zombie, but I'm not sure. Um, and then the next scene is... Negan still taunting Rick about... Negan, like, Rick's saying, hey, I think it's funny that you think you're the leader. And Rick's like, I am the leader. And, well, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen next. And, oh, uh, so... He's staring. And this fall... Oh, my God, this fall. What's going to happen this fall? <laughs> the, the, the fate of the entire show could be decided this fall, most likely. Um, uh is this the same bridge that went from the ocean side that heath and tara fell off of i'm going to guess i'm going to say yes for the time being but i'm not entirely sure if that's the case um let's see it might be actually yeah it kind of looks like it is look at that oh my gosh that's one big river well now that the ocean side's part of the whole communities now it's kind of easier um what the heck's happening oh it looks like they killed all the walkers that big horde okay it looks like the hordes killed um rick's look it's rick jesus ezekiel daryl and michonne and they're staring at somebody and they don't look too happy uh what is what is jade is doing she's reverting back to her junkyard ways with this walker Enid's looking like she's going to cry. I'm not sure if she's having an orgasm or if she's just imagining Carl or both. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. The team. Zombie comes out of the closet or the floorboards or whatever. Um, oh, they're stringing a zombie up. Oh, this looks like it's outside the sanctuary. Yup, it's outside the sanctuary. They're stringing a zombie up. Very similar to the old, the good old days. Daryl is yelling at Eugene. Eugene might be taking the side of the saviors because he was with them. This is Maggie leaving the show forever. Uh, no. <laughs> She's got a backpack on. Let's see. Let's see here. Oh, Daryl's getting ready to... Oh, okay. Zombie impaled. Daryl shoots it. TV's number one drama. I'm not sure about that after this year. Um, sorry, I know this is going bitty bitty slow. All right, Michonne has hung up her sword once again, just like season five. It's on the wall. She looks back. Do I need it or not? Tara's holding up her middle finger. What is this scene? Is this if this 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 scene might be it? This might be the end. I don't know who. There's a woman there with dark hair, and Rick's in a white shirt, and they're looking at crows. I don't know. That scene could be troublesome. I don't know who is in that. 
they're holding a baby, so it looks like they're holding Judith, but it's someone with dark brown hair. I don't know who that is. Maybe it's like Dead Lori. Uh, we know John Bernthal's in this season for some reason. Um, Carol and Daryl are snuggling, even though she's with Ezekiel. I don't know if that's going <laughs> to come into play at all. Um, returns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, this looks bad. This looks really bad. Okay. Rick is hurt. They're ru Okay, what the heck is going on in that scene? Rick gets, like... Does he get, like, shot? It looks like Rick gets shot or something. And then everyone reacts. And runs forward. Helicopter. What? Okay. Three circles... And then the 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 A. So I don't know what the heck that means. They love to have this. It's like the biggest running theme in the show. They had the A outside the Terminus car, outside Jadis' junkyard. It's it's been everywhere, man. It's it's just some freaking motif that they've created in the show that they're gonna reveal at the very end. I don't know. Um but yeah, where is the what's going on with this? We don't know. Um Rick is on Daryl's motorcycle. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. <laughs> Usually Rick's driving some car or whatever. But actually, now that they really don't have gasoline, I guess if he's using a bike, I mean, to get around faster, I guess that's efficient. All right, so an overhead shot. Um, I'm pretty sure people are talking, but I've already gone over that with you guys. Um, let's see. There's only a few more minutes left. I know, this is going at very slow pace. People are going to be confused when they see this video. Uh, we got Aiden, and then it pans over and it focuses on Jesus. Uh, someone's in. Someone's hands are tied behind there. I don't know who that is. We got Daryl right here. We got Maggie right here. Maggie looks like oh my gosh, Maggie got. Do you see this? She got black eye. There was some sort of scuffle here, and the nighttime shot definitely insinuates that. Oh boy, is that Gregory? Maybe it's Gregory. That kind of looks like Gregory. No, it's not. That's not Gregory. That's not Gregory. Okay, and this is not Gregory either. It's Rosita. There's some fight. We got Diane. She's back. Oh my god, this <laughs> this looks bad. Everyone's fucking running at each other and fighting. Jadis goes back to the junkyard. Um, interestingly enough. She's looking for something. Final warning. I don't know what the heck the final warning is. Uh, I think that's a savior, and they have Carol at a knife point. Daryl and Rick get really pissed off with each other, and Daryl throws his bike down. What the hell's going on there? Someone's on a horse leading a group of walkers. Sydney is trying to keep this walker at bay but it's getting it oh daryl does a double slice and then he goes for the triple slice jadis is aiming her gun something someone let le let something on let's let you lights it on fire rick is most likely dead and um he's going to die and the show is forever going to be over um this is the scene this is the scuffle so either that's Father Gate or that's 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 um, what's his name? Um, that's Gregory or someone who works for Gregory trying to kill Mich um, Maggie. Michonne comes around with a swing and slices the zombie's face off, and then she comes around for an overhead and slice. Okay, cool. Very efficient at that. Oh yeah, and then Daryl and Rick are like, "Are we on the same side?" He's like, I don't know, are we? And Rick's like, God damn it, why am I leaving this show? This is the worst day of my life. And he's like, I I I have a long dick. That is I am lip reading, lip syncing Rick Grimes right there. Um I'm pretty sure Michonne found Lucille. Is that Lucille? I don't know. Where's Dwight? That's one question I have. Dwight's not in this freaking trailer. No Dwight. No Dwight. Okay. 
And then the end of this is new characters. So I think it's Magnus Group. So they have the interviews. So uh, I, this guy looks like he came from some sort of sitcom. This girl's got some weird bird thing on her chest. One of these girls is deaf. That's not good at all. Not in the apocalypse. Yeah. Then Gabriel's interviewing them. Uh, let's see here. Okay, and then this is the final scene. This is the scene adapted from the comics. Uh, it's actually the cover of a comic book issue. Um, I don't know if they're either running from the Whisperers or they're running from just a ginormous walker herd. I think that's Yumiko. It's an Asian girl. Uh, oh dear. Whoa, someone's got like this giant horse-drawn thing in the background. You see that crap? She took it off her face. Um, someone's going to kill somebody. They're looking inside somewhere. Uh, who are these people? I don't know. It would be a bigger dead get of it would be a bigger giveaway if they were the freaking whisperers, but they're not. Because they don't have really zombie skin on them at all. Uh, October 7th, which is a very early release date. Um, and then here's the here's the adaptation. Here's a straight up. So they throw the crowbar down or whatever their weapon is. The guy's sliding down. Whoa. Sliding, sliding. So this is that bonus scene. Remember I told you there's always a bonus scene? Um, all right. Yeah, they run down and they cover themselves in in shit. They cover themselves in literal shit. Okay, awesome. No, it's mud. It's not shit. Um, and then it cuts to black. Um, and there's like one more scene. Come on, what the heck? It's taking forever. Um, all right, now they're covered in mud. They're laying there, really scared. Um, they're trying to blend in. How do you blend in with walkers? You become one of them. I don't know. Um, and then there's a shot of a bunch of walkers. I'm trying to see if any of these walkers are acting like humans or if they're all just wa dead. I can't tell. Maybe that one. There was one that looked like one. That that one. That kind of looks like it's skin. You see that? Kind of looked like he was wearing a mask. Yeah, and then he's like, oh shit. And they're, yeah. They're very scared. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? And then it goes to black. Okay, so... We basically... I'm trying to think about what's in that trailer. Um, a lot of infighting. A lot of infighting. I mean, oh my gosh. It was freaking chaos. This whole trailer was literal chaos of people just fighting. I mean, Daryl hit a guy with a pan. Dylan, Daryl and Rick are at each other's throats. Maggie and Rick, I mean... So, that final conversation at the end of Season 8 really is being taken to new heights. Um, there was one or two scenes where Rick looked like he was in trouble, but nothing to really tell you, like, oh, he's going to die or he's in danger. They didn't play that up in this trailer, which is interesting, but I haven't, again, I haven't seen the panel, so i got to watch the panel and see if anyone brings it up. So, we'll, we'll tackle that later in another vlog, but I'm just doing my initial reactions. The, I like how Negan was in this trailer. Nick Rick was taunting him, having conversations. He's got a long beard. We saw Maggie's baby born. We saw Judith run around. Um, i trying to think what else. Um, Carol and Ezekiel in a relationship. We're going to downtown D.C. The helicopter seems to be a bigger part. It looks like Jada slash Anne does tell him about the helicopter. Um, you had that new HQ where they had directions of where everything is. It seems like they go back to the bridge where they we last saw Heath. Maybe Heath will show up this season. Uh, we had those new characters at the end, which is Magna, Yumiko, and her group, um, who are, they're kind of the lead-in to the Whispers. I mean, they're not from the Whispers, but they're just a new group of people that kind of, you know, they're our bridge in a way. 
Um, I don't know if, like, Lydia slash a male counterpart to that's going to show up. Um, again, this is all comic book knowledge. I'm trying to think of when that's going to sync up. I'd say the second half of season nine. Again, it's stupid because the whole Rick Grimes, Maggie thing, them leaving slash dying is really going to throw a fucking monkey wrench into the storyline of me anticipating the Whisperers and anything in that fucking corner. So, I, <laughs> it's hard to be excited for the future villains and adversaries and plot lines when there's so much to, you know, so much uncertainty. I do like that it's it usually in the past the Walking Dead it's been like the end of that final weekend in October, but now it's like the first, literally October seventh is like that first weekend. That's uh, uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, so I guess that's cool. Get to see it sooner, sooner rather than later. Um, yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys thought of this trailer. I, I like that they the helicopter had those three circles on it with the A. Why do they keep putting that freaking A? What does it mean? What does it mean? It's like I think it has something to do with the cure, the few, the finale of the show because it's been a, it's literally been in season four, five. It's been everywhere. They put it on Daryl's um jacket when he was a prisoner. They put it on his prisoner uniform. It said A. I mean, what? It, that thing's been everywhere, man. Anytime they can have a letter, they're just like, you know what letter we're going to use? A. Because it stands for Apple. Or asshole, because you're kicking Landry Lincoln off the show. Oh. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, this trailer didn't seem to spoil any of that. There was one or two scenes where Rick was looked like he was down. It looked like he got shot. or It looked like he looked, yeah, it looked like he got shot. And then everyone behind him, like, runs behind him and tries to, like, you know, quell the scuffle. Um, but it doesn't look like that's fatal. Um, there was only one scene that was very odd. It was ominous. And I'm going to try to find it right now. Um, it was a scene where... Is it the beginning? I can't tell. I'm trying to look here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. It's where he... Ha it's where all the crows are. He's with a woman... God damn it. I'm trying to look in like the little finder here and I can't find it. Anyway, um, it, he's in an open field with um, a, a lady with dark brown hair holding someone, probably Judith, and Rick has a white shirt on and he kind of embraces. I don't know if this is just like, a, you know, maybe like in the end of an episode kind of thing of him just kicking back or if it's like some sort of freaking gladiator elysium thing when he goes to the afterlife or something so we'll um we'll find out um so yeah that's that's about it for the trailer um you guys give your predictions i'm gonna watch the panel and then do like a vlog of that later because it'll be interesting to see what people say because everything i'm saying right now could be irrelevant based on uh cast info and stuff and um yeah so yeah thank you guys for watching hopefully we um get some more info cool trailer overall probably watch back a few times and let you know if i see anything else and um, other than that um peace out i know i've been on the screen forever yeah peace out